simplest things in life people take for granted. I mean, I've been coming to these woods for God, 20 years now, and it's just nice. You get out, get a bit of fresh air, and you look around and you you just take everything in. You know, don't take things for granted. Stop and smell the flowers and and look at what you've achieved and how far you've come. And like I said, most days I do this, I just walk around and just take everything in. My journey so far, not with just in the fitness industry, but in life in general. You know, you can you can start to put years and just narrow them down into months and it's it's overwhelming how much you can achieve in such a short period of time and and you take a lot for granted in life. You know, especially friends and family. Um, we're always going to be there for you and like, family's not always blood related sometimes they're your truest and most honest friends and, and they're going to be there for you for the high times and the low times and, and it's just nice just to reflect on everything and just look around at how far you've come where you've come from and, and always remember that as well and you know just be grateful be grateful for the people you've got around you and, and everything in life that you know even the obstacles that have been thrown your way they're, they're put there to challenge you. You know, God gives his toughest, toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. So, you know, it depends on the outcome, on what happens at the end and how strong you are as an individual. It does frustrate me when people say, you know, oh, anyone can do it, it's easy when you've got a, a, a sponsor and that and you're paid to do it and, but that's not the case because you know I'm still roofing I still run two clothing companies and you know I wasn't born 14 stone 5% body fat with a sponsor I was born as Tom Coleman you know I went for education I went through school you know I still do roofing you know and, and people who say like oh I just ain't got the time for it and it's a lot of effort and that that's that to me that's bull crap because you know I wake up in the morning at 5 I go to the gym I do cardio I then go to work, I then do my online stuff at lunchtime, I prep all my food, I train and I compete. And people say they've not got time to go to the gym. An hour a day is 4% of your day and you've not got time for that, but you can sit there and watch your EastEnders and that and moan about the crap on telly. Manator, unleash the beast. <laughs> Rib gym by far is, is the best gym I've trained in Essex. It's all hammer strength. The people in here, I think what makes it best is the people. It's like a family and atmosphere, and you get a lot of pro athletes who train in here. And you know, even when you're on your lows, and like I'm five weeks out from a competition now, and yesterday I was so low, and just three of the other guys who are all in the same boat, they just come up, pick you up, and that's what I want to push a bit more. You know, gyms shouldn't be intimidating or scary to go in. You want them to be a family and a unit. I mean, we'll go out and socialise outside the gym. We go out for meals. And when we're in it, we'll have a laugh and a joke and everything. You're always getting people having a bit of banter and that. But like I said, the, the equipment and the people and the atmosphere just make the gym. Um, I've made a lot of friends in here. Old friends, new friends. I'm training with Lou today, who's been a friend since day one from training. And we've gone from gym to gym. And, you know, we, we've set ourselves here now. Because, like I said, the other athletes you get in here, the atmosphere and the people, it is... It is a family, that's the best way to describe it. And, and when you're passionate about saying, and other people are as well, it's just enjoyable to be around. Lou's a daddy. Not too sure it's his though. <laughs> no, he's so cute. That's um, this is. He got this idea from one of my shoots. Lou's favourite one. He likes gripping balls like that.
uh, I think I need it cutting. Just a little, just a little bit. I was just thinking like Dan, just to, uh, I'll probably put it straight back to how it normally is. Okay. Just uh, a little bit more choppier and more up front coming forward. Five weeks now. It's not looking so right. So, it's come around so quick. It's just tiring. It's just like, it gets to a point where everything becomes quite routine and quite... Mm. Like the other day, I, I was in here the other day and like, people were trying to talk and I'm just like, oh. Got to crack up. Just want to train, yeah. Just want to... Problem is as well, when you know it's coming up, it's... Focus time, yeah. isn't it? Exciting times coming up, mate, eh? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a big decision, though. But I'm pretty uh, adamant I've made the right choice. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be different. A couple of times he's gone elsewhere, and I've had to uh, <laughs> readjust. I've had to look after him a little bit. Should we? <laughs> uh, what? Ten years? Eleven years? Yeah, I've, me and Dan growing up with each other, so I've known Dan since we was, oh god, little, little. Yeah. yeah. Seen Tom commit to his lifestyle and the way he is now from the age of when he left school, so see him get to a point now, it's nice to see, you know. Well deserved, I think. It's nice to see your friends doing well, like even Dan, like he's got his own barbers and that, he's got people working for him. It's nice to see your friends achieve stuff. And it is good, especially when we all still hang around with each other and that as well. And you know, we still go out drinking and everything. And it's just a nice environment to have. And I don't question other people. You know, for me, you know, I do like football, but I don't get the whole passion about it. I, I come from a rugby background, so I enjoy that more. And you know, and I love putting myself through pain in the gym, whereas people tend to do other sports or other things what they enjoy. You know. Pilates or yoga, <laughs> it's not really my cup of tea. Whereas, you know, I'm not gonna judge people for doing it because they're doing what they love to do and they're working hard to achieve it and to, to, to create a better lifestyle for themselves. So on that note, you know, if you've got a dream or a vision and you enjoy what you do, then do it, it's as simple as that. Bosh.